I, I literally talked to somebody, she gets on the phone with me and she's like, I literally have not been sleeping for the last six months. We have $6 million that we have to pay and we don't have it. I'm like, don't worry, we're, we're going to figure this out. Don't worry. Uh, but the other thing that we also see sometimes is we've had a, we've brought on folks where we actually see an increase in conversions because they're, they're charging too much sales tax. Like they'll, they might be hitting them with like 10% tax everywhere, but people sometimes aren't used to paying taxes on certain things. And so they'll be like, Oh, I didn't realize like I had to pay tax on this food. So I'm not, I'm actually not going to buy it. And I'm not going to say it was just because of us, but I think as soon as we kind of figured out that calculation piece, we saw conversions kind of pick up like 20, 30%. So you kind of see revenue impact depending on what kind of customers we're talking to. Yeah. I think what, one very important fact that you um, mentioned there is if you plan to sell your business at some point, um, you need to have your books in order and you should start very early with that because if somebody, and there's enough companies out there and quite a few interviews on that that are looking for successful e-commerce businesses, but obviously mm -hmm. the first thing there is, is are the books in order and then definitely having the sales tax in order is right. This is probably the single biggest line item that people get dinged for because it's typically mm -hmm. like five to 10% of revenue. Yeah. So even if you know you're doing it incorrectly or you don't know if you're doing it incorrectly, you might as well get it fixed right before you sell because at exit or if you're trying to navigate exit, they're going to charge you a lot, lot more to get it done mm -hmm. at that point because they know that, you know, they have the power.